right, the next piece is the Norwegian dance. It is allegro, but we're going to do it in a slower tempo, probably more moderato and dante, you know, just to kind of get you in the feel for the rhythm. And again, there's a measure that says spiccato. Remember the rule of spiccato is that you want to start the note on the string. We are in the key of D major, F sharp and C sharp. So let's think about what that means. Finger pattern one on the D string, finger pattern one on the A string. We don't actually have C sharps on the A string. However, there are C sharps on the G, so those will be those extensions. That's why you see the dash four and measure one, um, because you, they want you to, um, they want you to make sure you play that extension. So here we go. I would actually, can I make a suggestion, play that F sharp in measure one with a second finger, that way your fourth finger extension's already set up. But, I mean, if you wanted to go, you can do it that way, or it's up to you. I'll probably play it the first way because that's usually how I do it. I don't mind doing extension while I'm playing a first finger. But get that C sharp set up while you're playing that first finger. Right? Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four, and one. Legato, soft at the very end. Then he always, always reminds me of the Mickey Mouse Club. M-O-U-S-E. Anyway, um, now there are some fingerings at the bottom of measure six and also measure eight on, on underneath the notes that show you that you can do a shift right there. That is, you know, it again, it's not really required, but... <laughs> starting vibrato that that actually might be a better alternative the same thing at the last measure but you hear that the possibility of that third finger being a little bit flat so it's up to you on that I personally don't mind the extension of the open string on that all right there is the Norwegian dance happy practicing <laughs>